As the term implies, subacromial injections are injections performed under the acromion process of the shoulder. These injections are generally performed for pain relief from subacromial impingement syndrome, rotator cuff tendonitis, especially supraspinatus tendonitis, subacromial bursitis, and for aspiration of the subacromial bursa. There are a few key landmarks when injecting the shoulder. Locate the spine of the scapula. This becomes the acromion process laterally. Identify the posterior corner and the anterior corner of the acromion. Palpate the posterior border of the acromion. Posterior subacromial injections are done through the soft spot just beneath this area, whereas lateral injections are done under the posterior third of the lateral border of the acromion. For the posterior approach to subacromial injections, palpate the soft spot below the posterior border of the acromion and make a mark about one centimeter below the edge using a retractable pen. These injections should always be done using sterile technique. Scrub the site and then clean in an outward fashion. Here I am using a mixture of 2% chlorhexidine and 70% isopropyl alcohol. Alternatively, you can use providing solution. Local anesthetic can be applied to the skin and subcutaneous tissue using a 25 gauge needle, but the experienced clinicians may choose to forego this. If you anticipate difficulty, then you should definitely use local anesthetic first. Here I have a mixture of 60 mg of Depometrol mixed with 2% xylocaine to a volume of 5 ml. And I am using a 22 gauge needle, 1.5 inch, with the bevel facing upwards. Advance the needle through your mark anteriorly, medially, and slightly superiorly. Always aspirate to ensure you're not in a blood vessel. Then inject the solution smoothly. This should go in freely. If there's any resistance, then withdraw and adjust the needle to avoid injecting into a tendon and causing partial or complete tear. Finish off by drying the site and applying a bandage. 